Hey guys, welcome back. It is a great day today and that I actually got my pen to work with my tablet. So I'm not going to be drawing all over the place anymore or writing illegibly, which is fantastic. So let's hop right into the topic at hand, which is the master budget. Such an elusive topic. What is the master in the master budget actually stand for? Well, the good thing is I have a really simple illustration to help guide you through what the master budget is. So we're going to start off at the top and work our way to the bottom right, or maybe the bottom now. It's a little bit confusing, right? Well, that's what overly complicated diagrams are for, to confuse you. So we're going to completely disregard that and forget that we ever open that diagram and just talk about budgets really simplistically. So many times you've created a budget uh, throughout your life. Some very common ones are maybe a grocery budget to plan for how much you're gonna spend on food, a clothing budget for back to school shopping, or maybe a partying slash social budget for deciding how much you're gonna spend on drinks with your friends or going out activities and so on. You know, if being around people is your thing more so than making managerial accounting tutorials on your tablet. So your master plan is going to actually be to limit the amount you're going to spend so that you can ultimately save money and prevent your costs from going up infinitely. That is, if you're able to plan and control your habits effectively. So the master budget, the topic that we're talking about, is your master plan. It is the plan that encapsulates all of the budgets for your organization. So once again, the master budget is going to include all of your organization's budgets and we'll be talking about that in the next part. So the master budget includes two categories of budgets, which are the operating budget, and that includes the sales, purchases, cost of goods sold, and the operating expenses budget, as well as the pro forma income statement or your forecasted slash projected income statement. And if you dig deep into all of these budgets, you'll notice that they have something to do with revenues, or expenses or earnings because your operating budget is essentially to plan out your profit because the pro forma is your forecasted income statement and the rest have to do with revenues or expenses. The second category of budgets will be your financial budgets. And your financial budgets focus on the investments in capital or projects and whether you can finance them. So for instance, the capital budget, uh, one modern day example is maybe like the, the company Target and looking to expand into the Canadian marketplace. So opening up new stores. Uh, so we would be budgeting how much it would cost and whether it'd be uh, profitable, the cash budget to see how much cash we have, uh, what we're spending it on, and also whether we need to finance any cash for our investments and then your pro forma or forecasted balance sheets. So those are the two types of categories which are included within your, your master budget. So your master budget includes both of these categories of budgets, your operating and your financial budget along with all of these budgets. So your master budget is like your, your highest budget in your hierarchy of budgets. It is the absolute highest. And I should say that the master budget is static in nature. And what that means is we're going to have just, just budgeted amounts that do not change throughout the year. So they're gonna stay the same and they're gonna be used as a benchmark against our performance or our actual results. And this is actually gonna be known as variance analysis, the difference between budgeted and actuals, which will be covered in the next few videos. So without a master plan, or not a master plan, but a master budget, a company wouldn't be able to plan accordingly and execute functions efficiently because there'd be no way to evaluate your performance between your budgeted and your actual amounts. And we all know what happens when you don't have a master plan, you end up like pinky in the brain, not being able to realize your goals of global domination. So hopefully you understand what the master budget is 
and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial when we talk about cash budgets. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any other material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate, you can like us on Facebook to receive updates, or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.